my friends welcome back to Sandy's creative studio so today I am back to show you another faith journal that I am making for a Christmas present for my daughter-in-law I actually had already started um, but my camera cut off I was not recording so <clears throat> what I've got done so far is the cover um, I haven't completed the cover but I started working on the cover um, and I also want to show you the signature pages and put those together. But so far, what I've done is I just took some canvas and image and some lace and put those together. Uh, I'm going to sew around them. Right now, I've just got everything glued down and distressed. Um, and it is another um, brown bag journal. Um, let me measure this real quick. I'm going to slide it over here on my board. And it is seven and a half by uh, just right under five and a half. And because I want to sew this, I'm going to sit this to the side and I want to go ahead and show you um, my signature pages. Let's see. I believe I have 12 pages. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's right. So we'll have it'll be a forty-eight page journal. So I have already got these put together. I just want to show you the pages. So I had already gone through and picked out the pages and put them together while I thought I was recording, but really wasn't. So this is what I have. But this is just a um, scrap uh, paper pack that I picked up probably on Amazon. But I picked out purple because her favorite color is purple. So it's going to have a lot of purple throughout. So and I got some avocado dyed paper. Um, and this is like another scrapbook paper that I probably picked up at Walmart. But I just really like the blue green, you know, to break up the purple and this came in a pack of bird papers, all kinds of different bird papers that I got from Jeannie Desiree. I've kind of been hoarding because I love them and I figured I, I better use them. And you know what better way to use them than in a gift? And that's some old ledger paper. Oh, and I got a pack of um, some pastel papers, uh, pastel copy papers. Some vellum. I got um, a book of identical prints or scrapbook paper oh this is not just prints but the book also shows you how to paint flowers and I love that because I'm a little bit of an artist and I love that it's double-sided with the purple um, and this paper is from Lindsay Zanor's uh, Faith Image Club I hate that this side has to be upside down. I love the picture, but I really like the scripture and I want her to be able to see this and read it. God is my strength and power and he maketh my way perfect. Second Samuel 22:33. So that'll go next. Then my extra wide um, post-it note and from the center page this is from Granny Chic and I have been hoarding the magazine and I decided it's time to use that as well so that is my signature now I'm going to set that to the side and I am going to go over to my sewing machine and do a stitch around this I'm going to pause and then I will come back and show you it and when it's finished. Okay, so I went ahead and sewed around my cover design. And I also, while I was at it, um, I went ahead and did the binding. Um, went ahead and put in my signature. Here while I was at it, I'd go ahead and do that as well. It's just a lot quicker for me to go ahead and do that 
then get right to the decorating. So I got that done. And I also tried something new. I thought this was pretty neat. I took a piece of cardstock and I covered it with some purple flowered fabric. I made a corner tuck and put in one of my journal cards I made. So I'm going to decorate it a little bit and then it'll be finished. So I think I want to put some trim here. I love this trim so cute to me and then I have some other images from Lindsay's paper pack got that um, I got some seedless preserves and I got some stencils I got some butterfly stencils so I thought we'd just have a play and see what we come up with for decorating the journal and then I'll have another present finished. Yay. <laughs> Moving right along. <laughs> Still have to buy something for the babies, though. We have um, a nephew who is I want to say four and he has a baby sister who is eight months and I know he is so excited for Christmas her name is Millie and she is the precious thing So I'm excited about seeing them. I hope I get to see them. I like that. So I don't think they're ready for journals yet. <laughs> but I did make her mother a keepsake when she was born. Let's see, I think I want to use the stencils and the pink that would be pretty I want to use Let's see I got the butterfly journal um, journal uh, stencil <laughs> and I have a vine stencil I really like the vine stencil let's see So I think maybe I'll use the butterfly first. I need to look at the butterfly. Okay, and I'm using my seedless preserves. So just a little bit of decorating. I didn't use a whole lot of coffee dyed or tea dyed paper. I just don't know if you know she would be into that or not. So I wanted to make her something with a lot of color and something pretty. Okay. I feel like that needs something else. I do have some of my um, doodads I could put on there. Uh, some of my clusters. Dig through here and find some clusters. Oh, there's a perfect cluster. All right, let's see. I have a pretty cluster here. I think. I think I'll use that. I'm not too thrilled with the butterfly because it didn't come out as well as I had hoped. So I think instead I'll use a cluster at the top. I really like that cluster. So that was my daughter peeking to see what mom's doing. And is mom talking to herself or is mom going crazy? 
crazy or what? <laughs> she's not feeling well. She just found out she's got COVID and hope she gets to feeling better soon. I'll just cover that up and I think that looks so much better. And that's what I love about making a bunch What's of this? clusters ahead of time. We'll have some just at the ready. Okay, and then I think I'm going to flip to the other side of that. I don't know if I will have... Maybe something on that back page. I was going to say, I don't know if I have enough room for a lot of pockets or anything. Because I didn't use a whole lot of um, coffee dyed paper. But, as much as I would like that stencil, I, would, I still really want to use Jesus, Lover of My Soul. And, I don't know... I already have a tuck spot. Do I want to do a tuck spot or I could make make it a pocket? Let's see. Oh, maybe I will make it a tuck spot and then I'll have a tag. Okay, so I think I'll do that. I'm just going to make this a tuck spot, like a, a corner tuck spot here. And then I'll make a... Um, so, I want to leave it open on the top. Okay, go around the three sides. There we go, in the corner. Alright, so I'm going to get a piece of file paper, file folder to back it. I just want to give it um, some backing so she can write on it if she wants to. Let me put some glue stick on there. And then I'll cut around it. Mm. A little bit more glue stick because I was thinking I was going to sew, but I don't think I'm going to sew. I think I am just going to cut around it and then distress it. And I'm going to find some seam binding or some ribbon and um, make a hole at the top. I'm not very fast at fussy cutting. I don't want to Cut it, cut into the tag by mistake. So I want to take my time. There we go. Okay, and I think I'm going to dig into my My other inks, I think I'm going to get out my uh, walnut stain. Oh, it's right here on the table. Figures. If it was a snake, it would have bit me. Okay. So I'm just going to stress it.
Miss Sam, I'm not too sure what her thought is on uh, the distressed look. But I really like that. And then it gives her a little bit of space to, to journal on, maybe put the date or something. Trim the edge. And he's a little bit trimmed off there. All right. So I got my hole punch. That'll work just as good as the crocodile. It's got some paper in it. Great. All right. Let's see what color of ribbon we can find. I got some white. White would be pretty. I also want something that's going to stand out. I wonder if I can find some pink. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah. I want to. Do I want pink? Pink or do I want white? I think I want to do the pink. Stands out just a little bit more than the white. Okay. Let's see if that's enough to make a ribbon or a, a bow tie. Gave myself a lot of extra to work with, and it's way too much. Okay. Sometimes it's a little difficult for me to get it started. There we go. All right, there we go. Let me trim that off. I'm at an angle. And tighten it a bit. There we go. I have to see if I can open that up a little bit with my scissors or maybe my my bone folder would probably be better to use make sure I have enough room there we go slides right in all right Still sounds like it's, it's missing something. Maybe a piece of trim or I want another cluster. What do I want? I want a little bit of something and I don't know what. Ooh, maybe some ribbon. I think I found something. Yeah. So I'm looking through my clusters. Or maybe I could just do do another cluster. I don't know if I want the yellow. I think I'm just going to do up a small cluster real quick. Okay. If I can find the same ribbons, I really like that look. Find my pink one. Oh, look what I just found. We're going to do this along the side. A little piece of this. Yeah, just a little snippet of it. Perfect. We just needed a little something. Now i got to decide where I want it. Okay, I cut that a little bit. 
I made up a bunch of ruffles. Here, or do I want it to the side? Might cut it a little bit more and put it at the top. I think that's what I want to do. Just a little too wide for that spot. Yeah, I like that. It just needed something. A little more interest for the eye. That ought to do it. Yay. I like that. Okay. My glue on the fingers and no paper towel. Give me just a minute there. <laughs> Wipe in the glue. All right. Now, something on the back. There's something on the back. I think I'll just take one of the images from Lindsay. I like that. I think I'm going to go with this one and continue with the uh, purple lavenderish um, um, theme or color scheme. So let's see what it says. So faith comes from hearing and hearing of the word of God. Romans 10, 17. I like that. And I'm not going to, it's just going to, I'm just going to glue it down. No tuck spot or anything. Just like a back cover. Yeah, that's the ticket. <laughs> And then all I'll have to do is find a ribbon for a closure, and that'll make a nice Christmas present. And then she still has plenty of space to, to journal or write in it. So there we go. Or do a quick, a, a quip, I can't even speak. A quick flip through. Oh, and I also have a... Oh, I glued it in there. <laughs> oh, well. Well, it's in there now. <laughs> honestly here, not completely honest here. I, I glued... I had a, a journal card glued in there. <laughs> All right. So it'll stay there. There's the... Uh, trim I added the bird page vintage ledger there's the cluster vellum that purple flower uh oh at least the cross is right side up and I like that One of those pages was going to be upside uh, uh, down regardless. And I added a heart, uh, cross dangle, or charm, I mean. Some writing paper. And there's the tag I just added. Tag and the ruffle. I love the picture of the birds. I'm glad I used that. So there we go. I think I'd be happy to have it, so I hope she likes it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you'll hit the like button, subscribe, 
and come back to see what I'm up to next. Thanks and bye for now.